So that comes out to five plus seven, you know, is obviously uh, seven. I mean, five plus seven is nine. I'm, tired of, I'm not the best at math, but five plus seven is nine and plus another five, that's gonna be, you know, 13. So, so far, So when it comes down to pricing your product, obviously it's something that's important. You wouldn't want to underprice your product and you wouldn't want to overprice your product. You want to find out what's the perfect pricing for all of your products, right? You want to make sure you're able to, you know, obviously still make enough money, makes profit, and also want to make sure you're still able to generate more customers and more leads, you know, obviously with the right type of offers. So this all has to do, you know, with pricing products. Now when it comes down to pricing products, I did not come up with the you know, with the strategies that I'm gonna obviously go over with you guys. These strategies, I learned them from different books and also some of my mentors and some of the things that I learned from them. Pricing is important, no doubt about it. If you're underpricing, you're gonna be losing out on some profit and if you're overpricing, you're gonna be losing out on some customers actually buying your product because they're just gonna go somewhere else. The way you price your product is a little bit different. Now, this is something not too many people talk about. It's something that I wanted to make sure I clarified on and the reason why it's different is because with both retail offers and free plus shipping, you know, where you're really aiming to make your, you know, the most profit and maximize, you know, obviously your pricing and your profits is a little bit different. Obviously with retail offers, you're focused on making the profit.